Tonight, police are investigating the disappearance of a young Houston woman who has not been seen in nearly a month. A 22 year old Angela Diaz was last seen June 30th at a hotel along the Gulf Freeway. Troy Class spoke with her family today. He's live downtown at police headquarters with what they had to tell him. Troy. Well, Mia and Len, today we're learning that Houston police have interviewed multiple people and also went to multiple locations investigating this missing persons case. However, a family I spoke with today says they still have one unanswered question about the night that Diaz was last seen. Everybody forgot about the missing people. Family of missing Angela Diaz says they were texting the night of June 30th. She was happy. She was good. She was not afraid. She was perfectly normal. June 30th is when Houston police say the 22 year old went missing. Three weeks later, Angela's stepmother, Yesenia Diaz, says she's hoping for the best. We're very concerned for her safety. I believe she is alive. I believe she's out there, that she needs help. Last week, Diaz says she went to the mayor's office to ask for help in the investigation. It's stressful because we want answers that we can get right away. HPD says Diaz's last known location was 8500 Park Place Boulevard, where an apartment complex is located. But family says there are other locations of interest. Diaz's cell phone last pinged to a location in the 10,000 block of the East Freeway. According to family, Diaz's boyfriend dropped the 22 year old off to meet another man the night she went missing. Why did he leave her girlfriend? to another man's hands. For what reason? Because I saw right now, I do not know that answer. HPD says they have spoken to a male acquaintance who saw Diaz the night she went missing. And family tells us that it's unusual for Diaz to go this long without trying to contact them. But anyone who has seen Diaz or has any information about this case is asked to contact the HPD Missing Persons Unit. Reporting live in downtown, Troy Kless, KHOU 11 News. Circumstances certainly raise a whole lot of questions. Troy Kless, thank you tonight.